Let's go to James 2, 15 through 17. If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, 16. And one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding, ye give them not those things which are needful to the body. What doth it profit? 17. Even so, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Let's go to the expanded Bible. A brother or sister in Christ might need clothes or food. 16. If you say to that person, God be with you, I hope you stay warm and get plenty to eat. But you do not give what that person needs. Your words are worth nothing. 17. In the same way, faith by itself that does nothing is dead. So I want to point out one aspect to this passage. We need to help the people that are in need. I know that it is really easy to say that you have worked for everything that you have received, that you have now, which is true. But if you read the Bible from the Old Testament to the New Testament, God is always telling us to help the people in need. So if you are not helping people, what are you doing? What are you doing? Well, you know, I minister to them. What point is ministry if you are not feeding people or giving someone clothes or money or something like that? Teaching people the word of God is one aspect of what we should do. We have to do more than just that. Coming to a person and telling them about God may be difficult in some ways, but we need to do more than that. We need to show the love of God to people. One of the many ways that we show love, the love of God to people, is by helping them. So get this selfish mentality out of you, where you think that, you only have to help you and your family. We all came from Adam and Eve, so everyone is your family. I don't care if they are black, white, Mexican, black, white, brown, yellow, red, whatever. We all are family. So really take heed to this. We need to think more than just of ourselves and our family. We need to think about outside of our family. Because what is, what is the point of saving so much money than dying? What is the point of buying so many shoes and clothes than you die? What is the point of buying so many cars than you die? When you stand before God, God is going to ask, what did you do for him? Not for yourself, for him. When you help people, you are doing what God wants you to do. I forget where the scripture is at, but when you help people, you are helping God. Does that make any sense? So when you, do, when you do things for people, you are not doing it in vain. I really hope that makes sense. God bless.